Hello everyone, my name is Jairishan, and welcome back to our Alpha 1.2.6 world. It has been a while since we played on this world, guys, and I cannot wait to get started. I've got so many ideas, and I hope you guys will join you for the journey. But before we get started, I thought it'd be fun to start with Episode 1 and work our way up, and just go over what we've done in this series so far. So, let's get started. We start things out with my old intro. I was so proud when I first made it too. It's actually set to my second favorite piece by C418, Wet Hands. I still remember writing subtitles for these videos. I would say that it almost doubled the amount of time I spent editing, since I had to go back through the video and write all the subtitles, and also make sure that they all lined up with what I was doing. Anyways, episode 1. I actually pre-generated a random world before recording to prevent my computer from getting bogged down, and even so, it still took a while to load up. I would never seen the world before, but I couldn't have asked for a better one. After exploring for only a little while, I found this amazing place to call home, and still have some huge plans for this awesome terrain. In episode 2, I spent a bunch of time underground searching for those beautiful diamonds. I had a few close calls along the way due to some unsafe mining procedures. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone to blame except myself, and as it turns out, it's not really possible to get compensated for an unsafe workplace if there's no one to take the money from. I did find a bunch of useful materials while mining, just not the shiny jewels I longed for. Episode 3 was quite action-packed. I started out underground to search a cave I had found earlier, only to find out that it was a dead end. Later in the episode, I was determined to get some mob loot and attempted to fight off the mobs of the night, but had to cower inside when I lost my courage. Also, a creeper snuck up on me and blew me to the nether and back, but we don't talk about that here. Moving quickly along, episode 4 I spent a bunch of time exploring, but first I burned down a small forest to make room for my growing empire. After I was satisfied displaying my power in the world, I set out searching for new lands. I found pumpkins, and did what any logical person would do with one. Put it on their head. I found some reeds, or sugarcane for you uncultured people. I also found a snow biome, but it was too beautiful to take the snow, so I took down the location so I could come back later and decimate it when no one was looking. I started out episode 5 by decimating a beach to get sand. I'll need it for all the glass I'm planning to use in a future project. I also found diamonds. I was very excited. I also almost died again. I spent the rest of the episode trying to make a compact double door. The redstone for these doors is a bit different in Alpha Minecraft, so I was really happy with how compact I got the redstone. In episode 6, I started out by building a cool glass dome roof on my storage facility. I'm going to plant a tree inside it. I then decided that I wanted to go to the realm of death, so I went looking for some obsidian with my new shiny diamond pick. I caught fire for some random reason because Alpha Minecraft is stupid. I was able to save myself with a cubic meter of water that I kept in my back pocket. Once I constructed the portal to the Forbidden Land, I went through, and then I turned right back because I was scared. Turns out, hell is not the most homely place. And finally, Episode 7. I start out by making a mob farm that doesn't end up working. What a great use of my time. I also go exploring at night to find some spiders to get string. Awesome, now I have a machine gun. So I head back to the nether to shoot down some ghasts. Then I find out my aim is terrible. Either that or the bow is. Actually, yeah, let's just blame the bow. Also, I grab a bit of glowstone because there's no other reason to be here. I hope you enjoyed that comical summary of all the good moments from the past 7 episodes all rolled into a couple of minutes. You can watch the whole episodes back on my YouTube channel if you're into that kind of thing. But I think it's about time that we get back into this week's episode. And wow, that actually took a lot longer than I was expecting to edit those first few minutes of this episode. Um, yeah, I was not planning on spending that much time on it, but I actually spent a couple hours just editing the first few minutes. So uh, it goes to show how much time video editing can really take, especially if you're using a slow computer like I am. Um, it can really make, uh, make the editing process take a while. But uh, yeah, I have some big plans. Uh, specifically for the base. I have some ideas for what I want to do, and it starts with kind of getting a bit of measurements of uh, this opening up here. I kind of want to see how big the space is above here, and I want to eventually make a circle that goes all the way around. 
Uh, so that's my idea. And then eventually this entire thing will be enclosed, is what the plan is. And it will be entirely mob-proof, so I don't need to worry about creepers and stuff dropping down on top of me. Now, I'm going to need to go around at some point and light this place up a bit. Uh, especially some of these dark areas underneath the cliffs here. It's very easy, even mobs can spawn in here during the daytime. And I don't want to have any spaces like this. They, these should all be entirely mob-proofed, so we don't have to deal with those sorts of issues. It's starting to get a bit dark out, so... Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how how much I can get measured out before we start running into some mob issues. I have to say, uh, coming back from N my NSSS series, which is kind of ended now, it's it's a sad thing. I, I'm still kind of sad about it, not gonna lie. Uh, but I, I miss the, the neon grass, that's for sure. Uh, Alpha 1.2.6 has the more green, like a more luscious green as opposed to like the neon green that the older alpha versions have. So it's it feels very different. You can still see a bit of that neon green grass on the side of the block, but the tops of it is now kind of colored towards whatever biome you're in. Uh, because biomes were introduced in 1.2.0, I believe. So, yeah. We're going to be going back to having no tree decay, no leaf decay as well. <laughs> tree decay. Yeah, I certainly hope the trees don't decay. Uh, that would be quite uh, quite the issue to have. But uh, I think I'm going to wait out the night. The classic, uh, the classic saying in, in Alpha, wait out the night. The end goal is to get an idea of how big we can make a circle all the way around the top there. Uh, it's going to be a while before I actually start building anything up there, I think. But I think we just got to get the planning phases going before we can... Uh, really get an idea of how big this is actually going to be because this glass roof right here took I think about two or three stacks of glass in and of itself so a big glass dome roof covering this entire opening area would take stacks upon stacks a couple double chests for sure probably more. <laughs> it's going to be a very big project, but I want to set my goals fairly large so I have something to work towards. And I think also we'll be spending a lot of time inside here, just landscaping the inside uh, to be kind of almost like a little town. I almost want to build a little town inside here. We'll also need to come up with a design for like a wall to fill in some of the extra space over there and just come up with some good ideas to make this look really good. Um, the end goal is to have this entire area safe from mobs, so that's why I say I want to build a glass dome on top. If I end up coming up with something else to keep the mobs out, I might go for that instead, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I just wanted to head down into the mine to actually get some obsidian, because I'm hoping to get a bit of a nether hub started as well. This will be another project that I hope to make fairly large scale if I can. Um, it's going to start out just having a few portals in there though because I want to connect up my spawn point and my base because they aren't that far apart but it would still be nice, it would still save time if I had a portal between the two. Now I'm not sure how safe it's going to be starting out right now. Um, but. I thought it would be a good idea to get a bit of a head start on that and just have some nether portals placed about in areas where I will need to go very often. Another place that I'll need to link up with another portal is some place where I can get a lot of sand. I don't know if there's going to be a desert biome or something nearby or just a large beach, but we will need a lot of sand if we're going to be going through with the large glass dome above our base. So that will be another portal that I'm going to want to make somewhere as well. Just to have quick transportation around my world as opposed to having to walk around all the time. And about five minutes later, we've got 20 obsidian. So we've got enough for two portals. Um, so we've, can, we can link some stuff up if we need to. Now, I'm not exactly sure where my spawn point is in the world. So I'm going to have to go out there at some point. Now I don't know if I want to go out there at night, 
or I'll die. <laughs> so we might need to do that during the daytime um, just to get the coordinates for our spawn point. Oh, it's already daytime. Look at that. So let's just go check out our spawn point. While we're at it, we might as well. This sugar cane. Is there is there mobs in here? Hey, this thing is actually working. Wow, I was not actually expecting this mob farm thing to work, but I guess it does produce a little bit of a little bit of mobs. Eventually the goal is to get that fully functional, but I don't think it's quite big enough to really be effective yet. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of redesigning on that. I'll have to do a little bit of research to see how mob farms were made back in the day. But yeah, let's just head back this way. I know I spawned somewhere on a beach just over here. Yeah, this was the first tree I mined down over here, so we spawned in just... Oh, getting a little bit of lag spikes here. <laughs> spawned in somewhere just over here. So if we make a nether portal here, we should, in theory, figure out how to link these two up. It shouldn't be too tricky. Okay, so I got a flint and steel now. Let's light it up. And let's see where we end up. Let's load up the nether here. Uh oh. So, it turns out that we are we're syncing up with the portal that we made at our at our base. Which I guess isn't the end of the world, because that means we can just enter and exit the same portal and then suddenly we're back home. Oh yeah, and for some reason pressure plates don't work when you come come back from the nether. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, that that's that's something I guess we can try to figure out. So I'm gonna go back to spawn again and I'm gonna get the true coordinates of our nether portal so we can have two portals, one to spawn and one to our base. Because we're gonna wanna have two separate portals in case, say, we want to go back to spawn, then we can go from our base to spawn using the nether as well. So just give me a sec, and I'll be right back. So fortunate for us, in Alpha 1.2.0, or somewhere thereabouts, uh, we got the F3 debug screen with the X and Y coordinates, so we can get a pretty good idea of where our nether portal actually is supposed to be. So it looks like we're at 211 and negative 73. So let me do a quick calculation to figure out exactly where that is in the nether. So that works out to be x26 and negative 9 on the z. Six, negative nine on the set. Oh no wonder it's out out in the middle of uh, the open area. I'm also going to turn down the sounds because these nether portals are way too loud. So sounds are down for a little bit, so that we can figure out where we need to build this thing. Negative 9, 26. Oh shoot, we're getting shot at already. <laughs> this is not going to be easy, as I thought. I'm going to try to do this off camera because this is going to take me a bit to get this worked out. <laughs> I'm going to need to build a little safety shelter somewhere. So it turns out I was counting everything wrong. I thought I had to build a portal somewhere down there. But I actually have to build it somewhere back in this hill over here, so I actually can just tunnel through and just make a portal somewhere back here at about 26 on the X. And I should be I should be good. I should be linked up with spawn. But as you can hear, there are a lot of ghasts out here. They were shooting at me like crazy. And 
it doesn't matter how many arrows you have, because you just, you sh can shoot them all you want, but you can barely hit them, unless they're right up close to you. And they just spawn back so quick that it's not even worth shooting them out, shooting them down, because they're just going to come back again. They do make quite a racket, though, so I'm actually just going to turn off the sound all the way, because <laughs> it's so loud and so annoying. I just, I can't even stand it anymore. <laughs> I can't even stand the sound of these gaths. So, I'm just gonna quickly, we're just gonna make a quick portal here, and then we'll put the sounds back on, and we can see if this actually worked. I haven't tried this, so I have no idea if I'm actually in the right spot. This is how loud it is with the sound all the way up. So loud. And look at that, we're linked up with our spawn portal. So now if we go back through, we should end up at that portal we just made. Let's wait and see. Is it gonna work? Yes, look at this. Perfect. So we're all linked up with another hub. <laughs> Gotta say though, those nether sounds are very, very loud and annoying. Uh, so I'm gonna, I might have to do some editing uh, for the sounds to <laughs> to get that a little bit quieter. But uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna keep it around like that. Maybe let's just go up top here quickly and we'll we'll take a look. I'm probably gonna do some of this planning off camera, but uh, we'll just get an idea for how big this actually is gonna be because. It's going to be a large project, and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting started on it. Uh, it's going to take, like, a long time. Yeah, it's going to be a constant, uh, just slowly but surely, take it one step at a time type of project. Uh, I'm trying to find a way to get to the top so we can really get a scale for how big this is actually going to be. And yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty big. The issues I'm going to be having is uh, where exactly this is going to go. Is it going to be a circle? Is it going to be a square? That's all stuff that I got to think about how I'm going to lay this out. Because realistically, it is it is looking more square and almost rectangular. This side almost looks longer. But I might fill some of this in with a bit of stone and dirt just to make it look like it was generated and fill it in. I'm not sure. I, I don't know what I want to do yet. It's either that or spawn proofing and like blocking off the top here with a fence of some sort. And that would be another option as well. So that would be definitely be the cheaper option. <laughs> but I don't know if it would be the cooler option. So that's that's something to think about. But yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a long time since I've done a Let's Play video in Alpha 1.2.6. And uh, yeah, I'm just starting to get back into the swing of things. And this video is going to be a bit shorter. I know that. But I also spent a lot of time editing the intro. And that took a couple hours. So I'm not going to spend too much time in this actual episode to, to do too much. Just because I spent so much time on it already. But you can look forward to episode... 9? Yeah, episode 9 next week, Saturday. Uh, and hopefully that will be a bit longer. We'll start getting a little bit of planning done, hopefully, on this base so that we can get an idea of how big we want it to be and what we actually want to do. I'll spend some time to think about and plan it out, maybe, um, off camera in between this episode and the next. And it might even be <laughs> in between two episodes, maybe before episode 10, I might have it done. I don't know. It's, it's going to take a while to figure out, and I want to make sure that I do it right the first time so I don't have to go back and change things. Um, but yeah, that's it for uh, this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Also, I forgot to mention, if you check out my website at sites.google.com slash view slash gyration, uh, I've got a blog on there where I post every so often just letting you guys know what's going on with my YouTube channel. Uh, I might sometimes post in the middle of the week to let you know, maybe sneak peeks on what's going on in the next episode, so you can check that out 
on my website, sites.google.com slash view slash gyration. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.